So my name is Zach Stevenson. Um, I'm an American Studies in French, double major. Hi, I'm Lucy Lacanienta. I'm an art history student here at BYU and graduating this semester. My name is Cassandra Larimer Reichman. I've been working at the Maxwell Institute for a year now. I'm Anne. Um, I've been working at the Maxwell Institute for about a year now. My name is Emily Ryle, and I've been at the Maxwell Institute about three years. My name is Austin Ball. I started at the Maxwell Institute researching for Terrell Givens. So working here at the Institute has given me some really fabulous opportunities to engage with the many scholars that we have here and to be able to learn from them. I've learned a lot from the way that they are able to be disciple scholars and unite their academic interests with their faith and their testimonies. The work we've done here, it's expanded my perspective quite a bit. So that's also helped me to see there's a variety of options in a lot of cases concerning doctrine, not the essential doctrines per se, but there's more room than we tend to believe in terms of our faith and belief in the church. I feel like it's really built my confidence because it's such a welcoming and safe space to explore ideas, um, especially within Mormonism, that you don't really get the chance to explore deeply in other venues. That will matter to me for the rest of my life because it helps me incorporate religion into my daily life more and into my professional life instead of keeping it separate as something that I just do on Sunday. Working for Dr. Heal my freshman year was really formative just in seeing how Dr. Heal dealt with his scholar colleagues. He was always very generous with, with them and would praise them. And so I just sort of got a, a vision of what it, could, what it meant to be in a, an academic community um, that was not marked by like jealousy or petty grievances, but like fellow feeling, charity, and just this collective desire to increase knowledge and grow enlightened truth. If I hadn't worked at the Maxwell Institute, I probably would have kept working as a writing teacher. If I hadn't worked here, I think that I would be missing a really rich view of the context where we are situated as Latter-day Saints. Well, I never would have met my husband. We met here. Yeah, I mean, I met, I met my wife working for Dr. Givens, so that was awesome, definitely. A life-changing moment working at the Maxwell Institute. After graduating, I'm going to be working in strategy consulting. And one thing that I know is going to be really useful to me in that future career is the different skills that I've gained here. So the research skills, the analysis skills, the critical thinking skills, all of that is going to come into play even as I'm studying some very different topics. Post-graduation, I'm moving up to Seattle and plan to work in a career of art and design. Another skill or another concept that I'll take with me is that of disciple scholarship. Um, as I pursue my scholarship, sort of do it with an eye to uplifting the community, to producing work that can speak to a broader audience and that can um, be productive and constructive um, in a way that merely academic work where I'm just writing to other historians wouldn't. My plans for the future are to go to Harvard I'll study theology there and focus on contemplative practice and how it uh, influences our well-being and spirituality. Yeah, I hope to be a scholar in philosophy and hopefully dabble in some Mormon studies like I have here. Um, maybe write for popular audiences on the side, but yeah, the main goal is to be a professor of philosophy.